This is a video response to all the name callers who can't stand my video. If saying makes it so, Mark Levin is the great one. I can see why you spitwad shooters are fans of Mark Levin. You learn from the great one, but you got a ways to go. Mark really is a superior name caller, whom I would never take on in an insult match any more than I'd engage in a pissing contest with a skunk. On Monday night, in addition to hawking fish oil and engaging in smarmy fundraising for some pet project, you reactionaries are such doggy lovers, he whined about how he hates the news and is sick of the news. He cited the Drudge Report as if it were a reputable source of good information and went on to describe the New York Times as the New York Slimes and the LA Times as the LA Slimes. Moving right along, he referred to Rachel Maddow as Rachel Madcow, called Keith Oberman, Keith Overbite, and called Chris Matthews a screwball. Dealing with matters of Congress, he referred to Senator Patrick Leahy and Congressman John Conyers as left-wing nutjobs. Then, he patted himself in the Landmark Legal Fa Foundation on the back for filing a Freedom of Information lawsuit to disclose all the torture-related briefings that were given to Congress, and in a stunning leap of logic, argued that Nancy Pelosi should be indicted for war crimes. And no time did Mark get bogged down in the details of law or the Constitution, in which he so lovingly wraps himself day and night, nor did he really do anything more than fling poo in every direction. To call this man a scholar or even a lawyer is preposterous. He is a horse's ass, making money under the banner of confusion, whose fans are so craven in their adulation that they beg for his approval with outlandish statements, like the woman who called and asked him when Obama would declare himself president for life, like Hugo Chavez and then allowed herself to be talked back into the real world by Papa Levin, who assured her that Obama was more strategic than all that, and then elicited from her that she was an unemployed waitress who, however, had no real problems because her husband has a great job as a Home Depot manager. She and all the Mark Levin fans remind me of what a judge told me about the jury right after I won my first trial as a prosecutor in small-town Southern Oregon. He said, you'll do all right here, Charles. Just remember, the problem with these people is they're so stupid, when the Republicans tell them the poor want to steal from the rich, they think they're the rich.